First of all, click on the amap2.aim.gov.in link. After this, you will be redirected to a page wherein you will be required to write some basic details of your school like school's mail ID and ATL code. In select application, choose utilization portal in the drop down menu. Then, after filling the capture code, click on the submit button. Using the given link, download the utilization certificate GFR 12A form. The downloaded GFR 12A form needs to be filled manually. First of all, you need to mention the year for which you require the utilization certificate and then select whether the grant received was recurring or non-recurring. The 10 lakh rupees grant for capital expenditure is non-recurring grant, while the 2 lakh rupees grant for operational expenses is recurring grant. So, if you are filling the UC for capital expenditure, then tick on non-recurring option. Or, if you are filling UC for operational expenditure, then tick on the recurring option. Then, put a tick on grant and aid. Then, write the name of the scheme as Atal Innovation Mission Self-Employment Talent Utilization Setu Bar 2351. I repeat, the name of the scheme would be Atal Innovation Mission Self-Employment Talent Utilization Setu 2351. Then, if you are filling UC for capital expenditure, then you need to write non-recurring or if you are filling UC for operational expenditure, then you need to write recurring. In the third point, you need to mention the cash in hand or bank in the starting of the financial year and the unadjusted advances in the starting of the financial year. The sum or total of both the figures will be written in front of the total. In case you are filling the UC for the first year, and you do not have any opening balance, you would be mentioning nil. Moving on to the fourth point, if you are filling the UC for the first year, write nil in column 1. However, if you are filling UC for years except the first year, the total balances as mentioned in third pa part of point 3 will be as it is copied in the, uh, in the first column of point 4. I'll repeat this thing. If you are filling the UC for the first year, then you would be mentioning nil in the third part of the third point and the first column of the fourth point. For the consecutive years, you would be mentioning the total opening balance. In the second column, mention how much interest you have earned on the balance from the bank. In the third column, Mention total interest deposited back to the government through Bharat Kosh website. In the fourth column, mention the sanction number, date and amount of grant received during the year. In the fifth column, you need to mention the total available funds which can be calculated by adding column 1 plus column 2 plus amount in column 4 and subtracting column 3 from the sum. So essentially, you have to do column 1 plus column 2 minus column 3 plus column 4. The answer is to be mentioned in the fifth column. In the sixth column, mention the total amount of expenditure incurred in the year. For the closing balance, that is the seventh column, subtract column 6 from column 5, that is Total available funds minus expenditure incurred will give you closing balance. Column 5 minus column 6. Coming to the next part, you have to elaborate the component-wise utilization of grants. Mention the total expenditure incurred throughout the year in the grant and aid general option. No need to mention anything in the grant and aid salary column or grant and aid creation of capital assets. Copy the amount you mention in the grant and aid general column into the total column. Hence, the amount in both columns will be the same. In the next part, mention the cash in hand or in bank at the end of the year and the unadjusted advances you still have at the end of the year. 
addition of both the amounts will give you the total amount you have at the end of the year. At the back side of the utilization certificate, the form should be attested by a chartered accountant and the principal of the school if you are a private school. In case of a government school, you only have to attest the form by the principal of the school. By attesting the form, we mean that the form should have the signature and the seal of the chartered accountant and the principal in case of private school and just the principal in case of government school.